Hey, I'm Luna and welcome to my channel and today I want to bring you back to three years ago. Three years ago on YouTube there was a challenge going on called the 10 by 10 outfit challenge, the 10 by 10 wardrobe challenge, the 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge, something along those lines. Um, and I really loved watching those videos back then because um, everyone, every influencer was trying to combine um, 10 different outfits with 10 different clothing pieces in their wardrobe to get the most out of their clothes and that's what us normal people do um, every single day. Us normal people just try to combine as many way possible. We don't get new outfits every time we go to events. I, I mean, at least I hope you're not. I hope you have fun curating your wardrobe. So today I single-handedly want to bring back a 10 by 10 outfit challenge winter edition. Okay, it feels like I'm ready to announce the Hunger Games, but here are the 10 contestants of today's challenge. So a green sweater, a lot of fun. Um, I tried to combine some more interesting pieces. I am someone with a pretty much all black wardrobe, so I tried my best to get some more fun pieces in here as well to show you that my wardrobe has versatility. And that's the point of this 10x10 10 10, um, capsule wardrobe challenge, to show that a versatile wardrobe, a curate wardrobe, is such a key to have. Um, the 10x10 10 10 challenge dictates that you can choose 10 clothing pieces to create 10 different outfits with but you have free range with shoes and accessories so I'll be including some hats and bags to change up the look a bit more um, and to create even more versatility in these outfits this coat I'm so happy to include because this coat is reversible so this is my 10th piece but it kind of counts as two even though it's one piece so here we have outfit number one. I have this newer uh, And Other Stories jumper, which I love. And Other Stories is one of my favorite brands to shop from, especially in fall, winter, because I noticed that their pieces are something I wear year after year, and I love it so much. I combined it with a very old skirt from Guess, as well as my old boots from Vagabond and an older handbag that I have. So new and older items together. This is actually quite a fun look for me because I wear all black pretty much all the time. And I want to challenge myself also in this video to not just keep it to all black, but also experiment a bit with colors and to show you that my wardrobe does have range and I've been wearing this fit to work and I love it and I get compliments every time I wear this color I think I underestimated how good the color green looks on brunettes and uh, if you haven't tried it as a brunette I highly recommend you do it because it's a fun color so this is outfit number one switching out the skirt for pants so this is item number three um, I actually really love this like I said um, there's free range with accessories so I accessorize with a black beanie I absolutely love wearing beanies I think they're so fun to wear it I really can finish up an outfit and I combined it together with this backpack that I have from coach um, this backpack from coach is also um, a two-in-one actually two-in-one bag I can also transform this into a normal handbag and wear it over my shoulder but I prefer being hands-free this is actually my daily bag I haven't worn this out and about like this yet but honestly I can't wait because this is a cool fit I actually love this I love how the beanie ties up the whole look together and I don't know, I'm quite obsessed with this look. I think it's like a really cool and fun look. I definitely think this is a successful look for outfit number two. And here we have outfit number three. I'm keeping the pants on. I switched the sweater for this vest. I really love this fluffy detail. Not only that, for this outfit, I changed lipstick. Lipstick is my favorite way to change up my look. If I'm gonna be honest with you, if I wake up in the morning on a daily work basis, I don't have the energy to put a full face of makeup on. So what I do is I do my eyebrows and I do my lipstick. So my lipstick is really for me a defining factor of my look because often when I'm wearing full black, I'll add more of a fun lipstick to kind of brighten up the look and kind of uh, give an interesting detail about it. Since it is a winter video that we're doing, I'm going to use my reversible coat from Mosh. What I really like about this coat combined with this fluffy jacket is that this jacket makes it look like the coat has the fur details. And whereas I'm actually wearing a jacket vest top um, and the fluffy parts belong to that, it now looks like it belongs to the coat, which I think gives it a very interesting detail, it makes the coat look very interesting and it just give us, gives that little extra. I've noticed that when I then uh, zip up the coat, it also has a fluffy detail hanging out from outside at the top and it just really makes it look like the coat is even cooler <laughs> than it already is. So this is definitely a go-to winter outfit for me. I've worn this outfit 
many times to the office. This is such a fun and comfortable look for me. Also, this jacket has a hood, which is great in Belgium rainy weather. So yeah, this is definitely an outfit I've worn plenty of times and I will continue to wear. So for outfit number four, I actually went for the fluffy jacket again, but this time I put on a long dress. So this dress has a bit of an open, more open cleavage, which means that I wouldn't really wear it in this season unless there was something on top of it. So I really like combining this dress together with um, a fluffy jacket or I also have like a few cropped black sweaters which actually work really well on top of this dress so wearing a dress as a skirt is my favorite thing to do so maybe you see all these cropped sweaters in store and you don't know how to wear them in winter wear a long dress underneath it and it's totally possible to then wear it in this season outfit four is a success for me. I really love wearing this. This is actually something very typical me. I always wear this if I went to dinner with a friend or with family. <laughs> I am sometimes a bit overdressed, I am aware, but I definitely wear this. I definitely have worn this already. And it's just a fun outfit. It's also really comfortable because it's just a very nice dress. It's not clinging to my body. It's just really nice and loose. And yeah, I love an outfit like this. It's so stylish and yet it's quite a simple look. So we're at our midway point. This is outfit number five. So for this outfit, I kept on the dress and threw on a fluffy scarf and a nice structured blazer. What I really love about this outfit is the juxtaposition between the feminine details of the fluffy scarf and the dress and then combined with more of a structured workwear as blazer. And um, that's a bit more of a loose oversized fit. And I love this outfit and I wouldn't have put it together if it wasn't for this video, um, but I love it and I will definitely be wearing it. I feel really, really put together in this in a really nice way and I feel really like myself in it as well, which is great. So for outfit number six, we're back with the skirt from outfit number one and I added um, a black turtleneck, also one of my favorites to wear. It's also from Guess, a really old one and I've had this since I was a teenager and to this day, it's still my favorite and most worn turtleneck. The vest is from Sandra. I actually have a matching skirt for this to make a set out of this, but I really love that both the vest and the skirt can be worn so individually that I don't feel the need to wear it as a set necessarily. And that's the best way when you get when you can get as much wear out of your wardrobe as you want. So this is what I combined together. Let's add on the coat again. Switching it to the black side. Having a reversible coat is so convenient. My other coat that I have is a very long dark green one and it actually is possible to um, unzip the middle part so it's a cropped one. Um, I really love multifunctional clothes. This is also great for if you're traveling to have like anything reversible <laughs> because you'd have two coats in one and I love that. <laughs> So this is cozy, comfortable outfit number six, and I definitely love it. I definitely have worn this as this as well. I've also worn this outfit with longer midi skirts. Um, I love wearing midi skirts in winter. They're so comfortable. And yeah, I really think this is, I, I, it's so stupid to say like, I think all my outfits are successful, but I know my wardrobe works together and I really like these outfits. These are my style. For me, they are timeless, classy, and elegant. So um, yeah, I really love putting these together. And let's head over to outfit number seven. We're nearing the ends very slowly, but surely. I don't know why, but outfit number seven is giving me model off duty or celebrity on the airport kind of vibe. I think it's the hat, the cap. Um, I actually really adore this outfit. I think it's a really cool look. Um, I left the vest open from the previous outfit and I also kept on the top. And I'm combining it with pants I previously wore, threw on a bag and threw on a cap. And that's the finished look for outfit number seven. I'm really, really loving this. I'm digging this. I feel like... I'm doing quite well in this challenge and um, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend you try this. You have moments where you're just playing with your clothes. Do it. Like it's so much fun to just put outfits together. And yeah, I I feel I feel cool. I definitely feel cool in this. You know? So <laughs> okay, next outfit before it gets to my head. <laughs> so new item incoming, which is this white turtleneck that I've had also since I was a teenager. Um, honestly, this is such an outfit that I would wear to the office. Um, I feel like this is so comfortable, yet it looks still sophisticated. Um, 
if I still was in college, I also would wear this to college. I definitely think this is a proper fit for that. And yeah, I feel like I really like the way that the beanie color matches the color palette that's going on uh, in my outfit. Uh, the blazer is back, the trousers are still going strong, and uh, the outfits are still going strong too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun filming this and I have a lot of fun uh, changing outfits, even if I'm getting a bit tired doing so. Um, I kind of applaud models who have to change in and out of clothes all day because after this I'm gonna be putting on my pajamas and just chill. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Okay, I'm feeling kind of bad for the mannequin because I stole the blazer yet again and they're getting kind of cold, but okay, let's move on to the next outfit. Outfit number 9, I've kept the white turtleneck on and I've thrown on the black guest skirt again and I'm also wearing some high black boots and a pink fluffy scarf. Um, you can actually close this as well, if that's more to your liking. Um, also perfectly possible to wear it without. You can also wear it with a black scarf, that was what I intentionally planned on doing but I thought, you know, do a bit something different again for the last few outfits because I've been trying to get not as much black in here as possible, but um, for the lovers of black clothing, here we have the black scarf again um, to add on to this outfit. Um, it definitely looks more cohesive to me. <laughs> um, also, I feel like my coat would definitely work really well with this outfit color palette as well, um, because we have the um, light color and the darker colors that are matching so well. So let's put that on too to have a very cozy and warm outfit number nine. And yes, on to the last outfit of the day. Here we have outfit number 10 from the 10 outfits, uh, from the 10 outfit challenges. And of course I had to end on an all black look because all black is just so me. I threw on my oldest hat that I still love to bits and pieces till this day. I also threw on a statement belt because um, a statement belt can really, really spice up your look <laughs> really nicely. Uh, I know in a runway show normally the last outfit is the big finale piece, the pièce de résistance, but I don't know, for me I'm just ending on something that's just really me, something that's just totally Luna, and that's an all black look. And uh, yeah, I really recommend that you try this out, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to give a few more pointers about curated wardrobes versus um, capsule wardrobes. And yeah, this was so much fun. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the outfits that I put together. The reason I really wanted to bring this challenge back is because lately on TikTok I've noticed so many capsule wardrobe videos sur like resurfacing and as much as I like the idea of a capsule wardrobe, I feel a lot of the videos nowadays are here are 30 to 50 pieces that you have to buy. A lot of these pieces are incredibly basic so it doesn't really take into account a person's style and I feel like a lot of people just buy an entire capsule wardrobe which kind of defeats the point of it. I think it's fun to curate your wardrobe over time with your own style. And I think a couple of tips for wardrobes if you'd like them is curate it over time and try to figure out what your style is. Try to figure out a couple of style words if you're not sure um, specifically what, what style you lean into. I love the words classy, elegant, feminine, um, a bit edgy at times, it kind of depends on my mood. Um, but I feel like I know these are kind of how I... Um, describe my style and having these words attached to your style helps a lot more than labeling it old money aesthetic or Parisian style. It gives you more room to fit into whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to achieve look-wise or whatever you feel comfortable in. I also feel the capsule wardrobe trends uh, videos on TikTok are very limited to just like this white Pinterest girl aesthetic <laughs> whereas there are so many fun patterns and textures to play with. A curated wardrobe looks different for everyone. If I'm thinking about the youtuber Freddie my love she has an incredibly pink clothing style and she has these pastel pinks and whites and nudes and browns and her wardrobe seamlessly fits in together so her capsule wardrobe or her curated wardrobe looks different than mine that's mostly black and I think that's the fun part she can combine all her pieces with what she loves and I can combine all my pieces with what I love and I think that's how you know you have a good wardrobe that fits your style if you can just combine 
freely. A last tip I have for your wardrobe is make sure it fits your climate where you live um, and what you're doing on most days. So if you're out for work most days, even if you have a dress code, try to still kind of try to find your own style or a way to um, implement your own you into your clothes for work because you're spending the most time there. So it's kind of logic, logical that that you have more clothes for those occasions. Anyway, I hope you find this video uh, helpful and informative and I'm definitely gonna be doing this more because I think it's a lot of fun. And thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, it's free. And um, I hope you're doing well and I hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>